everybody and welcome to Freaking FX where I'm going to show you today how to create the VHS look inside Premiere Pro. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this so I thought alright then it's time to do it. So we're going to drop our footage into a new composition and the first thing that we want to do is create a new folder and we're going to call this VHS and all the effects and all the stuff that we're about to create we're going to drop it just here okay so we're going to add a new adjustment layer and this is pretty different from After Effects for creating a new adjustment layer you have to go here to this icon over here click it and go to adjustment layer click OK we're going to drop it on top and we're going to extend it and um, we want to add a contrast effect so we're going to get it brightness and contrast effect and we're gonna to add a high value something like this looks okay and now for After Effects what we will do now was just duplicating this effect and then putting it down but uh, Premiere works different to After Effects and instead of getting this second brightness and contrast effect and putting it on top of the of the previous effect what it does is that it kinda subtracts it it's a little bit strange so we're going just to delete this one and we're going to get the levels effect drop it here and we want to take the black output level and put it up so that we can have this kind of you know contrast effect very typical on VHS you can really tell the difference here especially in the dark areas it looks okay and now we also wanna add maybe a tint effect for here I want to put the blacks go some dark green like this one and the whites map them to a yellowish tone something like that I wanna put this maybe 10 for example I don't know if you can see the difference maybe 15 looks okay like that and now what we want to do is pre-compose this so after effects uh, we just have to right click and click on pre-compose it but on Premiere what we have to do is select the two layers right click and go to make subsequence and here it creates a uh, subsequence it's called that it's what comes to be the pre-composition I want to change the name to this one I want to call this for example uh, tint and we're going to delete this two layers that we created and we're going to drop the new tint subsequence and when we double click on it it will open it so instead of uh, just uh, pre-composing everything and putting into a new composition what it does is that uh, it keeps everything where it is but it creates the new pre-composition or subsequence here in the project folder it's a little bit strange but anyway we're going to now drop the this uh, tint subsequence on the VHS folder to keep it there and now we want to add a new adjustment layer um, we want to add the effect and sharp mask this one um, we want to put a high radius something like 15 maybe even more maybe 30 because this video is in 4k so you know I have to put high values and the amount maybe to 100 something like that maybe that's too sharp actually just going to keep it on 50 and then we're also going to do the color displacement that is very typical in VHS actually we're going to take the adjustment layer and put it a uh, little bit up <clears throat> and for duplicating the layer what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt click and drop it on top just like that and we want to take now the opacity over here of the video uh, that is uh, on top go here and the blending mode we can find it here in the opacity uh, options when I go to color right over here 
so all the changes that we made to this layer it will apply only to the color of the video so now we can I'm going to disable this layer by now now we can take the position and displace it a little bit we can also add a fast blur effect we can put it something like that this is something very typical on VHS and now it's up to you that you know you can put in maybe even more displacement even more blurness but I'm just going to keep it like this maybe just add a little bit more of blur something like that and now we can put our adjustment layer with the unsharp mask effect and now we're going to add an VHS overlay to make it look authentic and this works the same way as After Effects does we have to double click here in the project we have to click the first picture of our um, of the composition if you didn't have this folder I have a lot of folders with a lot of VHS effects and overlays I mean sorry but if you didn't have any of this uh, you have to go to my very first tutorial it's my second video I will leave uh, uh, the link in the description below and I'm just going to click on the first image make sure that you check image sequence and click here and open and now we have to drop it on here and we will have to go to the motion options put the scale up till there uncheck uniform scale and put the scale width up and now we have to go again to the blending options here in the opacity and we, you can check either a soft light or hard light I'm going to leave hard light I like it like this and um, there's a problem with Premiere and um, is that After Effects has the option of infinite looping a video but Premiere doesn't so what you have to do is making sure that you click here on the that you target this track and uncheck any other tracks in the video you have to click in the, um, on the footage overlay hold control C and now control B B B B B B B B B B that's the only way of doing it <laughs> of infinite looping a video so this was a very basic tutorial on how to create a VHS effect I hope that you enjoyed it that uh, you find it helpful and please let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you would like to know regarding After Effects or whatever and I would do my best to make a tutorial as soon as possible and please subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you find this helpful and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya!